In this video, we are diving into menu 37, RPTRL, which stands for Repeater Tail Reverse Delay. This setting fine-tunes the delay time used by menu 36, RPSTE, which we covered in the last video. If you are trying to get rid of that annoying burst of static after a repeater transmission, also known as a squelch tail, this setting helps you control exactly how long your radio stays muted after the repeater drops. So let's break it down when you are using RPSTE. STE to eliminate the squelch tails, your Baofeng UV5R mutes audio for a short time after the repeater stops transmitting. But how long should that mute last? That's where RPTRL comes in. It lets you customize the length of the delay. To adjust it, press menu, go to menu 37 RPTRL and press menu again. You'll see a range of options from 1 to 10. Each step represents 100 milliseconds. So setting of 1 means the audio mutes for 0.1 second, and 10 means a full 1 second mute after the repeater drops out. Let's do this together. Now we'll hit menu 37. It's set to off by default, and we'll hit menu again. We can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, back to off. I'm going to hit menu again to lock in off because that's how I want mine set. If you're still hearing static after transmissions, try increasing the RPTRL delay. But if the mute is too long, you're missing the start of the next transmission. Lower the value to shorten the delay. It's all about finding that sweet spot based on how your local repeaters behave. Keep in mind, menu 37 only works if RPSTE is enabled in menu 36. If RPSTE is turned off, RPTRL won't have any effect. The two settings work together. RPSTE activates the squelch tail elimination and RPTRL sets how long it lasts. This level of control is especially useful in busier networks or with older repeaters that tend to linger a bit after someone finishes talking. By customizing RPTRL, you get a much smoother and more pleasant listening experience without the static bursts or missed replies. That wraps up menu 37 RPTRL on the Baofeng UV5R. It's a great little tool to polish your repeater performance and eliminate audio distractions. In the next video, we'll keep exploring the UV5R's menu system, one setting at a time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe to help me grow the channel.